Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to do these layered stamping tropical designs using the Dixie Plates Tropical Paradise stamping plate. It is jam-packed full of awesome designs. I love all the foliage and the leaf and the turtle is definitely my favourite. So let's get into the tutorial. So I use my Dixie Triple D stamper as usual and I'm using all Madame Glam Gel polishes today. So going in with this first colour, for every single swatch I did apply two coats of colour, curing in between each layer for 30 seconds and then make sure you do wipe off the inhibition layer before you stamp so I'm going in with these two born pretty stamping polishes feel free to pause the screen at any time to take note of any of the products I've used I will leave links to the websites where you can get them all from in the description box below along with any discount codes I might have so going in with the darker stamping polish colour before, I wanted to go in with the darker one because I wanted that colour to fleck through and give a little bit of pop of bright detail. So I'm going in with that lighter peach colour now to add the second layer. So just take your time with this and make sure you're lining it up as best as you can. I wouldn't worry if they're slightly off, I think that gives it a little bit more detail, it gives it a bit of a shadow which I think is cool makes it look a little bit more unusual. So then I'm going in with this colour from Madame Glam, it's a metallic silver, it's called Perfect Perfect Silver, it's really nice, I love it. And I thought it would be perfect just to add a little bit of sparkle and a little bit of detail to this design. This one was kind of like a floral wallpaper kind of inspiration, that's what I was going for. So I really like how this turned out. So the next colour I'm using is Kind Salmon, it's a really nice pale peach nude colour, again applying two coats of this, curing in my lamp between each layer for 30 seconds and then I'm going to go in with Perfect Gold which is a beautiful yellow gold from Madame Glam and I'm just using the brush out of the bottle and I'm painting a half moon shape on the bottom of the nail here. I'm then going to go in with a brown stamping polish. All the stamping polishes I'm using today are all from Born Pretty and I'm going to take the little trunk of this palm tree and we're going to stamp that first. Now when you pick this up you'll end up with loads of other images so just use your card, your scraper to take away any of the images you don't want to transfer onto the nail. It's as easy as that. You could also use a lint roller to do this but I find using your scraper card is a lot more precise. And then I'm just going to stamp that down on top of our golden bed of sand. Going in with the next colour which is the metallic green, it is a gorgeous stamping polish colour. And getting the palm tree leaves stuck down, again with this you just want to remove any of that excess you don't want to transfer. And I love these palm trees, I think they're so cool and there's loads of different varieties of them on the plate, different styles, they're really funky. On to the next design, this is an under the water themed nail and it's actually inspired my holiday that I've recently just been on. We were lucky enough to get up close and personal with some turtles in the natural habitat in the sea, it was an amazing experience, this nail was inspired by that. So I'm going in with the two turquoisey blue gel polishes and I've just painted one layer of the dark one on and I've left it wet and I'm now going in with the lighter blue and using the same brush and just swirling the brush into that wet gel to create a marbly watery kind of effect. Don't forget to wipe off that lighter blue brush before you put it back in the pot because you don't want to mix up your gels. I'm then going to give that full cure for 30 seconds and then when it comes out making sure I wipe off the inhibition layer ready for stamping. I'm going in with this green stamping polish and taking that first layer of this three piece, three layered design and picking that up on my stamper making sure I remove any excess that I don't want to transfer over with my card and then placing that onto the nail. So that is the first layer of this design. Going in and cleaning my plate off, that's really important between each layer. I'm now going in with that metallic colour which is beautiful and applying the second layer. So this is going to give it a little bit of depth, a little bit of 
interest with a bit of shimmer I like to mix up flat and shimmery stamping polishes when I'm doing layered designs I think it gives it a nice bit of texture and layer and depth so going in with a final layer this is the outline so I'm just applying that polish and scraping and picking up with a light roll using my stamper that's the best way to use this if you press down really hard it probably won't pick up so a nice light roll over the plate and then I'm stamping this down making sure I get it all lined up nicely and that that is the finished turtle. I love this guy. I think he's so super cute. On to the next design. I'm using this gorgeous baby pink, which is called Special Pink. I'm applying two coats of this, again, curing for 30 seconds in between each layer. Although I do find with most Madame Glam polishes, they are full coverage in one coat, which is amazing. So for this design, I wanted to use these tropical foliage leaves. I love leaves. I love greenery. So I had to include this in this tutorial. So going in with that metallic one first, I'm using this metallic foil polish in it so many designs because I love it so much and stamping the first layer down and you can just see how awesome it looks with a metallic finish I love it now going in with this lighter green color and applying the second layer using this I did it this way round because I wanted the metallic to just show through in little flecks I think it gave it a really nice effect so I'm picking that up on my stamper as you can see all the images pick up really well by using the stamper and the plate brand combined so then I'm just pressing that over the design I do find with this image you don't need to line it up perfectly I think it looks better when you kind of have it slightly off so on to the next design I'm using this gorgeous coral and this is super bright you can kind of see in camera how bright it is it's a gorgeous color and I'm going in with this design with two different color stamping polishes a blue and a turquoise I wanted to mix it up a little bit and I'm going in with a leaf and also a shell and I'm going to be stamping two of each onto the nail. And what you'll see on this is I don't wipe my plate off in between. I wanted to see how it would work if I didn't wipe my plate off. And it picked up perfectly. This isn't always the case so don't take my word for it that you can do this all the time. I normally wipe off between every single layer that way you just get the perfect stamp. But for some reason it worked today so it's great to be honest with you I ran out of limp pads at this moment in time so I didn't have anything to wipe my plate off so that's why this happened but yes if you're having a problem and you don't wipe off in between layers of stamping polish this could be why give it a go wipe and clean your plate between each layer and you might find it works out but yeah I didn't this time and it worked fine so you never know so this design is complete I really like how it turned out on to the next design I'm using that perfect gold as my base I thought it was so beautiful it needed to have its own moment and I'm going to do two layers of this and then we're going to go in with a hot pink stamping polish for the first layer of these flamingos and I do like to apply the polish over the whole design when I'm doing a layered stamping image you'll notice that when it's a more full coverage design I like those flamingos are a lot of surface every area to cover with polish I like to paint the whole design I find it a lot easier and it picks up much nicer so then I'm just working out where I want to stamp that down and then pressing that down holding it for a few seconds to make sure it's transferred and now I'm going in with this lighter pink that has a slight metallic-y sheen finish which is lovely cleaning my plate off again got the lint pads back had to get a new packet out and yeah going in with this lighter pink which is a really nice color it's got a slight pearly finish to it it's really pretty and then going in with that second layer so not all layered stamping designs have three four five layers some only have two some have three four it really depends on the design and the plate but I love the variety on this stamping plate. So going in with this colour, which is Smart Oxblood, it is a really nice cherry pink red. I don't know how else to describe it. You can see it on screen. It is a really vibrant colour. It's lovely. And I wanted to use it for this reverse image here. So I'm going in with that pale peach pink stamping polish that I used at the beginning of the tutorial. And I'm just scraping this. And when you're doing a full coverage design, you want to scrape really lightly. And you can see there, 
there. When I scraped, I did it twice and I switched direction. So then I'm going to apply this down. Now you don't want to press too hard when you're doing this because otherwise you could potentially smudge the stamping polish. But it picked up perfectly and it's stamped perfectly. I'm then going to add a little bit of that perfect silver into the centres of the flowers. I just feel, felt like it needed a little pop, a little bit of shimmer. Because you can never have enough glitter. And there you have it. There are all seven designs. I love how these turned out. They're super tropical, super summery, super holiday vibes. I really hope you like how this tutorial turned out and hope you got some layered stamping tips and tricks along the way. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this and check out the description box for any discount codes for the products I've shown today. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!